we just come before you tonight. We thank you, God, that when we find ourselves in your presence, it's so easy to let go and get lost in your presence. It's so easy to let go of all the things that have consumed our hearts, that have consumed our minds for the last few hours, and just, just be yours, Lord God. We thank you for how easy you make it for us, Lord God. When all it takes, Lord God, is surrender and allow ourselves, allow ourselves to be loved by you. I pray, God, that tonight you'd completely captivate our hearts, Lord God, every part of it, not one part distracted, not one part elsewhere. But Lord God, you have us. You have us completely. I pray, God, that tonight you would meet us in a powerful way. Our hearts, they long and they thirst for the courts of the living God. Better is one day in your courts, Lord, than a thousand days elsewhere. And we find ourselves, Lord God, here. Our hearts, our minds, our spirit.
has ravished my heart. Your love has ravished my heart, taken me over, taken me over, and all I want is to be with you forever, with you forever, your love, your love has ravished my
confession and our declaration to you here tonight God is that we want to know your heart that God we don't come here with our own agenda but God we want you to deposit your very heart in us God that we will be able to pray out God and speak out the desires of your very heart so we thank you God that no matter how wonderful or hard or how difficult our days may have been that we just check everything at the door we lay everything down at the foot of the cross and we come here just empty vessels before you God become your empty vessels God empty vessels to just be filled up with your presence and to be filled up with your intercession and pour out praises at your feet God we thank you so much Lord yes God and so right now we're going to be transitioning into a time of singing from the word of God so if you have your Bibles with you I want to encourage you to please open up to Ephesians chapter 1 and we'll be reading and singing starting from verse 17. And for tonight's watch, we'll be lifting up intercession for the nation of Venezuela. So what will happen in this portion is that I'll be praying out these verses over the nation of Venezuela and then our team will respond with choruses inspired by the word of God. So if you have your Bibles with you, please open up to Ephesians chapter 1, starting with verse 17. Ephesians 1, chapter 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, and Lord, we pray to you tonight, Abba Father, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. We lift you up over the nation of Venezuela. God, we lift you up over this nation that has been embroiled in violent protest. And Lord, we declare that you are the Father of glory. Release your glory in Venezuela tonight, God. The shining majesty and the weighty importance that accompanies your presence. Reveal your glory to those in the streets of Venezuela tonight, God. Those who have been praying and fasting for peace in their nation. Those who have been sowing in seeds of righteousness. Reveal your glory to them tonight, God. Let your glory pour out. Let it empower. Let your glory flood through the streets of Venezuela tonight, God.
Breaking.
chapter 1, verse 17. That the Father of glory may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. And Lord, as your glory and light floods the streets of Venezuela, we declare the spirit of wisdom and revelation releasing the knowledge of you. Lord, we declare scales falling off of eyes. We declare hearts of stone being replaced with hearts of flesh. God, we declare minds coming awake. Lord, we declare your children being washed over and flooded with the spirit of wisdom and revelation tonight. God, that they would know you, God. That they would know you, Lord. That your children in Venezuela, that they would know you. That they would have a tangible knowledge of you tonight, God. Yes, Jesus. the time has come for the sun to be revealed. Yes, God. Reveal yourself. Reveal this sun. For there is no hope outside.
we lift up the spirit of Ephesians 1 to you, God. And our confession is that, Jesus, we want to see you. We want to behold you face to face. And we know that this is not a confession that is limited just to this room, God. But we know also that our brothers and sisters in the nation of Venezuela, God, that our brothers and sisters across the nations, that they have this innate desire in their hearts as well, God, to behold your glory, to see you face to face, to be wrapped up, God, in your magnificent presence, Lord. So yes, continue to speak to us, God, and instill the truth uh, of this passage deeper and deeper into our hearts tonight, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Everlasting, your life. 
en Dios eterno Dios eterno tu luz por siempre brillará y tu gloria
spirit of wisdom and revelation come in this place father of glory come in this place open up our eyes open up our minds god sensitize us to your spirit here in this place lord yes god yes lord yeah so we're going to continue to go deeper into the word of god together so if you have your swords with you mighty warriors I encourage you to open up to Ephesians chapter 1 once more. Uh, this time we'll be uh, continuing from Ephesians 1 verse 18. Ephesians 1 verse 18. Having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints and yes lord we declare hope rising we declare hope rising god we declare hope rising in the hearts of your people in the nation of venezuela god in this new revelation of your glory we see living hope god we declare living hope stirring up in the hearts of your people right now we see despair being uprooted God, we see frustration and anger being uprooted in Jesus' name. Lord, all across the nation of Venezuela, we see hope being planted. We see a living hope flourishing in the hearts of your children tonight, God. All across the nation of Venezuela, God, may the eyes of our hearts, God, may the eyes of the hearts of our brothers and sisters in this nation, God, may the eyes of their hearts be enlightened to this living hope, God, to the vast inheritance and the living hope that we have in you, Lord. Yes, God.
ever faithful God, you're ever present, you're ever faithful God, you're ever present, you're ever faithful God, you're ever present, you're ever faithful God, you're ever present. present, God, in our lives. You are present. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, Lord, we thank you so much for giving us a greater revelation of your faithfulness in our lives. God, and you're just your faithfulness in the lives of our brothers and sisters across the nations. Continue to sow, continue to plant, God, this truth, this revelation, God, Lord, deeper and deeper into our hearts, God. We thank you, God. Just a little. 
soul sings. My soul sings. My soul sings. My soul sings. How I love you. My soul sings. My soul.
intercession and tonight we'll be praying specifically regarding the protests going on in the nation of Venezuela so as I lead out in prayer I encourage you to please come into agreement with me and then afterwards please lift up your own intercession to the Lord and something I want to point out to you is that uh, the protests going on in Venezuela have been receiving very little media attention but then we felt very specifically led to pray for this nation tonight so know that the intercession that you lift up has a very special authority and a special anointing. Amen? Amen. So let's pray tonight for the nation of Venezuela. Lord, we take the authority that you have given us through the blood of Jesus Christ. And Lord, right now we rebuke all corruption and mismanagement of funds in the nation of Venezuela. Lord, you have blessed this country, God, with vast resources. Lord, that you have blessed this country with so much oil wealth. God, but so many people are still living in poverty. God, people are still standing in long lines just to buy bare necessities. So right now, we uproot all vestige of greed in government finances in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, we release your conviction in Jesus' name. Lord, we command order, God, into the hearts and minds of these government officials. Lord, we declare the blood of Jesus washing their hearts, washing their minds, washing their hands, God. We declare the purifying blood of Jesus over these government officials. Lord, the same wisdom and integrity, God, that you release upon Joseph to steward the wealth of Egypt, God. Lord, won't you release a double portion over Venezuela at this hour? Yes, God, let's pray.
rates in the nation of Venezuela. Lord, we know that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus, you have come so that we may have life and have it abundant. Lord, right now we confront and demolish, God, the stronghold of death that has been oppressing this nation. God, we confront and demolish the stronghold of death that has been oppressing the nation of Venezuela. Jesus, we believe in the power of your blood shed on the cross. Jesus, we believe in the power of your resurrection. Right now, we declare your resurrection power. We declare your resurrection power. We declare your power of everlasting life over the nation of Venezuela. Right now, God, right now, Lord, we speak for divine intervention. God, release your angels, Lord. Release your angels, Lord. Release your saints to deliver. Release your saints to deliver, God. We declare that starting tonight, starting tonight, this very night, that there will be a supernatural turnaround, God, in the homicide rates in Venezuela. Supernatural turnaround in Jesus' name. Supernatural turnaround in Jesus' name. We speak for God. Lord, we command life. We command life over the streets of Caracas, God. Over the streets of Venezuela, God. We command life over the streets of this nation. Let life spring up in Jesus' name. Life spring up in Jesus' name. Let life spring up in Jesus' name. Let's pray right now. 
declare that the curse of sin and the curse of death is broken is broken by the blood it's broken by the blood of jesus spilled once and for all it is done it is finished god you broke the curse of sin and death you broke the curse of sin and death now we are free of sin and death you broke the curse of sin and death now we are free
order over the hearts of your people. Lord, right now we declare a fresh and overwhelming, empowering filling of the Holy Spirit over Venezuela in Jesus' name. God, we declare ministers receiving a supernatural new zeal and a determination, God, to see your kingdom come down to the nation of Venezuela. God, we declare your powerful grace sweeping over all the evangelistic, all the missional, all the intercessory ministries all across Venezuela tonight, God. Lord, we speak forth the Holy Spirit renewal. We speak forth the Holy Spirit renewal. Release your fire. Release your revival over this nation, God. Right now, we declare that you're releasing your fire and your revival. That although Satan intended this time for death and destruction, we know, Lord, that you are powerfully intervening to release your waters of revival. That you would take this newfound passion, stirring up in the hearts of your people. That you would take this newfound passion for justice. And Lord, that you will launch the Venezuelan church, God, into a whole new, dis a whole new dispensation, God, a prayer and intercession, God. Praying with authority and seeing supernatural answers to your prayers, God. We thank you right now that you're releasing fresh waters waters of revival fresh waters of revival holy spirit revival holy spirit renewal over the nation of venezuela tonight god let's pray right now
as a result of our prayer, as a result of our intercession, God, that your glory was flowing, God, over the streets of this nation. God, that you were encountering your children, you are encountering your ministers, God, you are encountering your government officials and even the protesters, Lord. And we thank you, God, that as a result of our intercession, lift it up with the fullness of faith, God. We thank you that as a result of these prayers, God, that, that murders, God, that homicides were prevented tonight, God, that death was diverted tonight, God, that life was released tonight, God. We thank you that as a result of our intercession, Lord, that you are truly taking what the enemy tried to use to bring death and destruction. You're turning it around, God, for the good of those who love you, Lord. We thank you, God, that nothing is impossible in you. Nothing is impossible in you, God. So we wait with full faith, God. Full faith, God, knowing that the tides have turned in the nation of Venezuela. The tides have turned to the nation of Venezuela. God, we trust in your good plans for this nation, the coming revival for this nation, God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that, God, you're releasing your love, God, and your revival, your protection, and your life over the beautiful nation of Venezuela. We thank you so much, God, and we lift up all these things in the name of your son, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. So tonight we're going to close just by singing this, uh, the song that we sang a little while ago. And um, when we decided to pray for Venezuela today, we know that there's a lot going on in other places in the world. And in a lot of ways, you know, the media is not really focused very much on Venezuela right now. But we felt like God's eyes were on Venezuela. And that's what matters. And that's what we want to partner with tonight. So as we sing uh, these last few choruses, I hope that even if you don't have really a heart for Venezuela, which is okay, it's, it's kind of a, a random, you know, far-fetched uh, request, um, but I want you to envision people in Venezuela singing out their hearts before Jesus. As his light shines upon that nation, that hearts would be become renewed, refreshed, that all darkness would flee, all disorder would melt away, that Jesus Christ, the hope of glory, would shine so bright that it would blind everything else. It would wash out everything else. So what we sing tonight, we will sing in faith. Sing, uh, Te canta mi alma. Te canta mi alma de cuanto yo te
you so much for the work that you are doing in Venezuela. We thank you, God, that you have not forgotten this nation. You have not abandoned this nation. We come against, or God, any spirit of defeat, any spirit of, well, this is the way it's been for generations. This is the way that it's always been. We come against that, Lord God, and we know that you have a plan, a destiny, Lord God, for this nation. We thank you, God, that your love has never failed, that you are faithful to the end, and you are not finished, Lord God, in Venezuela. We thank you, God, that you will not relent, you will not stop until we see a bride washed clean in the blood of Jesus arise from Venezuela. It's your desire and the jealousy of your heart, Lord God, to see a bride that is set on fire, Lord God, for you, rise up from Venezuela. We thank you, God, that you will not settle for anything less. You will not settle for a lukewarm bride. You will not settle just for enough peace or enough rest or enough um, end of poverty. We thank you, God, that you have, you, what you have in store for that nation, Lord God, is above and beyond what we could ever ask for or imagine. We thank you, God, that you have made a way through your blood, through your provision, Lord God, for all these things to be yes and amen, for all these things to be promises in your name tonight. We thank you, God, that you are moving, you are shifting things, you are changing things, Lord God, in the nations. We love you, Lord. We thank you. We pray all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Um, thank you guys for also rolling with the punches with all the Spanish. I know that not very much Spanish is um, used here in Korea, but... Um, yeah, thank you guys for joining us and keep uh, praying and keep keeping your eye out uh, for what's going on in the news. It's not just Venezuela, but that there are other countries that are kind of far away and distant from our reality here in Korea. But so much is happening out there that we need to be contending for, we need to be praying for. So keep that in mind and uh, I hope you guys join us. We have another watch tomorrow morning. If you are a gangsta and you want to do back to back and come out tomorrow morning that's great if not we'll see you next week and get home safely